Go to line. Line, but there is that heat. It's an interesting beer, I'll put it that way. I I kind of like it. It's I'm, I'm disturbed by the lack of head on it. And again, I, I'm sure that has to do with the oils from the chilies. Um, I'm trying to find, uh, to think of something that I would want to have <coughs> to taste this with. And the only thing I can think of right now off the top of my head is there's a wonderful ice cream store that makes their own ice cream over here in Brooklyn Heights. And, a nice rich vanilla ice cream would go with this. I mean that that was it's a weird combination, but it would it would work. All right, well uh, <laughs> does Grim No Hands Now photo fermented sour ale with key lime, uh, ancho chili, chipotle chili, and sea salt meat expectations. Well, I was I didn't know quite to what to expect, and what I got <coughs> is is certainly a beer of interest. Would I um, go back and get another one? Well, no, I don't think so. But it certainly was an interesting experience. So does Grim, no hands now, meet expectations? I didn't quite know what to expect, so I guess it did. I'm below. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. Share us with your beer friends and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.